Right, it's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, I will be reviewing a Australian beer for you this evening. And uh, it's by the Australian brewery called the Cooper's Brewery. Here's a little look at your bottle. Uh, I believe this is a craft beer. Got Cooper's on the bottle cap there as well. Very nice. Um, yeah, by the Cooper's Brewery, uh, it's just called Sparkling Owl. It says no additives or preservatives just as it should be, that's what we like to see. Bottle fermented as well, you can just about make it out there on the bottle, bottle conditioned basically. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this in a way, because it does sound good, especially being bottle conditioned and all that. But I tried another one from this brewery and I wasn't a fan of it. I don't know if you see that review or not, it was like probably about three weeks ago now. And um, I've sort of stalled this one a bit because I've not really been looking forward to it. But hopefully it's better. It's a little bit stronger, this one as well. It's 5.8% ABV. Uh, how big is the bottle? 375 milliliter bottle. That's quite random. Uh, perhaps that's a half pint in um, Australia or saying I don't know. Or a whole pint. Um, a bit, bit wimpy, isn't it? Uh, we've got a little bit of writing on the back here. Cooper's Sparkling Owl. This naturally conditioned owl is cloudy in appearance with a, what's that? With a delicious multi palate and well balanced after bitterness. Uh, gently roll the bottle before opening to unlock its full flavour. Roll the bottle. Roll, roll, roll. Give the bottle a little roll. Do what it says on the, do what it says on the bottle. That's enough. God, I should have been uh, done a little pizza base or something while I was doing this review. <laughs> <laughs> all right that will have to do let's get it in the glass and see what it's all about do let me know in the comments guys if you've tried this uh cooper's sparkling owl and uh if you like it or not oh god it's getting absolutely batshit crazy let's get it in the glass because it's extremely excited to see me i seem to remember the other one doing that as well actually i'm going to give it a little swell near the bottom as well just get all that sediment out Oh yeah, I picked this up from Macardi, very posh. Um, and I can't remember how much it was because it was a few weeks back now and I didn't write it down like an idiot, but it wouldn't have been expensive. So I don't really buy particularly expensive beers to be honest, not very often anyway. So it's probably around the two quid mark I would think. <sighs> Beer in the glass, there we go. It's, uh, wow, it's a kind of um, interesting looking color that, and it? it's like a coppery sort of, Mm, coppery sort of orange colour I'm going to go for. I can't quite put the name to it. Uh, got a nice white head. It looks very nice. It really does. It looks much better than that other one. It's got loads of like haziness going inside. I don't know if you can see that on the close up. But there is literally sediment going on all over the gaff in that. Absolutely packed full of sediment throughout the whole beer. Really like kind of micro sediment, but like compact throughout the whole thing. It's literally everywhere. Um, yeah, we'll find out if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> Let's get the news in there and check out the arena of this Australian uh, Cooper's Sparkling Owl. It smells like banana. Um, like wheat beery sort of uh, aroma to it almost it's like banana -y kind of yeast i believe that i can smell quite subtle but really quite a nice aroma actually i'm actually um thinking this is going to be better than the other one for sure definitely smells like it's got a bit of sag about it could be wrong but it just smells good a little bit of citrus some sort of like biscuity sort of malts in there yeah it's a uh, like an earthy banana -y sort of smell. Almost like, like when a banana starts like going a little bit bran sort of thing. But yeah, I like, I like the whiff of it. Head's dissipated a little bit. Still got a bit there and it's left behind a little bit of the old lacing. But yeah, all that really matters is when I chuck it down my big fat neck. Do I like it or not? So uh, let's find out what I think of this beer. But don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think of it if you've tried it. Cheers, everybody. Bosh.
that's interesting. <laughs> the minute it touched my, my lips and I felt it in my gob, I thought this is going to be horrible. But then it changed. The reason I think the beer made me think that is it is absolutely carbonated as fuck. Like crazy levels of carbonation. I'll be surprised if it don't set off a few burps. There's no um, widget or nothing in this glass. It's not nucleated. This is just coming from the beer. Super hot carbonated. You can't really see it, the carbonation, when you look at it. But it is very high carbonation levels. But then, once that sort of once I got over that unexpected carbonation nuke, I realised it's actually quite a nice beer, a lot better than the other one. Um, let's go again. <laughs> now I'm expecting it. I might be able to think about what a beer tastes like a bit more. <clears throat> Here's the carbonation. Light to medium bodied. It's very citrusy, right, in a really nice way, with some like orange peel or something in it as well. Got a nice hoppy citrusness to it. Decent bitterness on the end. Nothing like strong, but just a pleasant, like, but quite subtle bitterness. That banana flavour's come through slightly to the taste as well, which I don't mind. A kind of yeasty, banana y sort of taste. Malt wise, I would say it's like a biscuity style malt uh, but yeah it's so much better than the other one it really is it's, um just shows you if you try a beer by a brewery that you don't like it doesn't mean all their beers are going to be bad because this one's like a different level compared to that pad hour i think it was 4.5 percent one this is definitely way more drinkable and i would say this is perhaps a good introduction sort of beer for somebody who's a lager drink drinker and a, a, perhaps wants to explore drinking else because it's something about it with the carbonation and all that it's very lagery um but you have, have got some, some sort of um owl taste in that in there but it's quite subtle like with the bitterness and the citrus and and the uh, malts uh, so i don't think it's going to scare a lager drinker off it could be a good you know uh, start for them to sort of try something like this i'd say You can taste a little bit of the alcohol. It's 5%, uh, 5.8% ABV though. But it's not enough to ruin the beer. It's actually quite nice sometimes. Just when you get a little taste of the alcohol and just feel a slight warmth. Um, sometimes it can add to the flavour and sometimes it can just make you think, oh, this is strong, you know. The alcohol taste in this is adding to the flavour for me. And I quite like it. Um, that bitterness on the end has got a nice little spiciness about it as well. Yeah, I'll have to try some more from these guys. I said it's been sitting in the fridge for a while because I was kind of worried to try it after the first one I from them. But that one is not at all bad. Yeah, it's nothing too crazy going on. It's not like amazing or anything, but it's a good <laughs> it's surprisingly, I was going to say a good session, it's 5.8% ABV. Surprisingly sessionable for the 5.8% ABV. It's not doing anything too leery to sort of make you think, oh, I can only have one of them. Uh, anyway, score wise, I'm going to give this Australian beer out of 10. I'm going to go for an 8. I think it's a very nice beer. It's not quite in them sort of big boy leagues, but this is decent. I certainly wouldn't say no to it. And I think it's definitely worth a go, especially if you just fancy trying something a little bit different. But if you don't like a lot of carbonation, <laughs> I'd probably give it a miss, to be honest with you. If you're an owl drinker and you don't like carbonated owls, uh, yeah, it'd probably make you burp like a madman. Uh, don't put it in a nucleated glass, Jesus. I mean, you see what happened when I opened the bottle. It says it all, didn't it, really? Yeah, eight out of 10 for me. Smash the like button if you made it this far. I really would appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done already. What are you doing? And if you haven't already subscribed, thank you very much, guys. And I hit the little bell button down the bottom near the subscribe button, and it will notify you when I post new videos. So uh, if you're a fan of the channel, you won't miss out. You can sort of, just let you know what video I've posted, and if it interests her, you can watch it. And if it don't, don't bloody watch it. Till next one, guys. Bye-bye, darlings.